Alright, let's get this straight. As you probably know, the first trailer for the Minecraft movie has finally been released. And almost nobody likes it. I mean, nobody likes it. No! Fuck! Fuck! I'm not a movie critic, I'm just someone who has been playing Minecraft since version 1.5. So I know a little bit about Minecraft. Let's take a look at it. I am Steve. The first big problem I have is that it's an animated movie with live action actors. I don't understand why everything is animated except the actors. And that gives me a really weird impression. Like this face. I think it would be better if it was just an animated movie. For example, the Minecraft story mode from Telltale Studios. Which was an interactive story and it was great. It was exciting, fun, just great. Or they could have made it like the Lego movie. It might look good too. There are so many Minecraft animations on YouTube and even directly from Minecraft and they look great. Like every time they announce new updates they make some animated video. But no, Hollywood just has to do it in the weirdest way. Honestly, it looks like a Minecraft with a creepy realistic texture pack with people on a pretty bad green screen. The thing is, when it's an animated character in a human world it doesn't look bad. For example, Sonic, for which it worked well. On the other hand, Mario movie showed us that a purely animated movie can be great, funny and successful. But when it's people in an animated world, it just doesn't doesn't look good. So I don't really understand why they decided to do it that way. Let's focus for a moment on CGI. My first reaction was like, seriously? I understand that when you decide to make a movie about people in animated world, that it's obvious they are going to be on green screen. But I wasn't expecting such a striking green screen. Look at this. My eyes hurt. This cube magically shines through his hands and here they are facing each other but they all have the sun at their backs. And again, the best scenes in the trailer are the ones where there are no people. Because they just don't look good in there. I'm sorry but it's true. Everyone says animal models look terrible. And frankly, they look. Why on earth does a sheep have human teeth? Or why this creeper looks like a living bush? Whoever did the CGI did a bad job. Don't get me wrong, the point is the movie cost hundreds of millions of dollars and it definitely shouldn't look this bad. And it doesn't matter that it's in development because aforementioned Sonic had a similar problem, where people complained about the look of Sonic after the trailer came out, so they had to remodel his look. But it was just one character, in this case it's almost the whole movie and it's gonna be a lot of harder to remake this movie. I mean, there are 5 characters that need fixing, animals or this creeper and I don't think anybody is going to do it. But I still think it's going to be successful because it's targeted at a younger audience and they don't really care. Honestly it looks more like a Minecraft commercial, like a Super Bowl commercial. The only thing I'm waiting for is the Minecraft cover with the price tag at the end. Now let's break down this trailer a little bit. The first thing we can see is the world view and here I have to admit that I like it because you can see that it is made in Minecraft style. Even if it doesn't look like a basic Minecraft but like Minecraft with a texture pack. Then we can see the characters coming into the world through the portal that looks like a nether portal, but it's not purple, it's blue. So I would say it's a portal that connects the human world to the Minecraft world. And at the same time we see that the world is divided into biomes. Where besides the typical plains biome we see the cherry grove biome, eroded badlands, I guess, or the desert mountains. I don't know, really. And we can see the snowy mountains in the back. The reason I mentioned that is because I have seen a few people on YouTube saying it's not a Minecraft, it's a not a Minecraft world. I think it looks good and I would say that's the last reason the movie is bad. Imagine if the movie was set here. I am Steve. Next, we see the first animal and it is a sheep. It's just weird. It is supposed to look like a Minecraft sheep and a real sheep at the same time. And the way they did it is just almost creepy. I wouldn't be surprised if it gave the kids nightmares. <laughs> We also see the piglins using the ghast as a transport vehicle, which I think is genius idea, but completely out of line. And the ghast may look like something out of a horror movie, but it's cool in my opinion. I bet a lot of people don't know that the ghast in the game actually cries. In the next shot we see a wolf howling at the moon. And that's the probably the best scene in the trailer for me. Maybe it's because there are no humans. Technically it looks good, the lightning looks good and the moon is accurate. 
just perfect. And then we get to the crafting. I like how the creators are trying to stick to the game on this one. I hope it will be used more than just in one scene in the movie. And we can also see how they are probably trying to craft a bucket? I'm sorry but what is this? I have been playing Minecraft for a long time but I haven't seen this before and I haven't seen a double bucket at all. So hopefully we will see some real crafting. There is a lot of stuff in the background like TNT, fireworks, ender chest and the typical painting which is cool. This whole world should work like in a game, which is what is seen where they cut down a tree tell us. Because all that's left of the tree is a little cube. You can also see how it's just wrong to put live actors in a movie. Just look at it. It's, it's bad. Here we can see piglins again, in the village. I don't know why they are here, but okay. And I'm like, if you are gonna put this cursed sheep and this horror ghast in a movie, why don't you put the pigments in here? I know it's mostly for kids, but I would really like to see Minecraft pigments in this form. Then we can see the scene with the creeper and that scene speaks for itself. It's just like, you can see how wrong everything is. And then there is a scene obviously from the nether and it's just the piglins. I really hope there are pigments in this movie, please, do it. And there is a mob in the background and I don't really know what it is. Anyway, it's got pink eyes, so it should be something from the end. Maybe they will show us a new mob in the movie that will be in the game later. Or maybe I'm wrong. So if you know what it is, let me know in comments. And here comes my boy Steve. The CGI effect is horrible, it looks like some green screen downloaded from YouTube. Also Jack Black is wearing a blue sweater and that's about the only thing that connects him to Steve. I mean, look at this. I know it's a lot to ask because I understand that making Steve in human form is almost impossible, but it would solve it if they made the whole movie animated and had Jack Black dub him. Then we can look at the other characters. I'm not going to comment on their look, I just don't understand why Jason Mamoa is dressed like that. And again, you can see a beautiful animated world with four people on green screen in front of it. I'm sorry, but this just doesn't look right. Also, there are some very funny jokes. <sighs> Guys, such a tool bag. And then a reveal of the film's logo, which is pretty cool. Now let's look at the plot of the movie. According to an article on the internet, the movie will be about The malevolent Andrew Dragon sets out on the path of destruction, prompting a young girl and her group of unlikely adventurers to set out to save the overworld. Nice. And the trailer shows that this cube probably allowed them to open the portal. Wait, where have I seen this before? Yeah, in Jumanji. Where some random people accidentally opened a portal to the world of Jumanji. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same here. Then in this scene we can see the piglings going somewhere and they don't look happy. So I would say it's some kind of attack. We can also see they are in the village where they are not normally. I think they will be like soldiers trying to take over the Minecraft world. And this interesting character behind them is going to command them. Well, there is also the Ender Dragon, but there is no mention of that in the trailer, so it's hard to tell if he is the main villain or not. But it's definitely a story about this group trying to defeat someone or something. Now let's get to Steve. Steve is a Minecraft character that there is no story around. In fact, Minecraft doesn't really have a story. It's a story that the player makes up. Yes, you defeat the Ender Dragon at the end, but as far as I know, there is no official explanation for that. So I don't know why, but something tells me that if it's explained in the movie, and I hope it is, it's going to be about Steve falling into the Minecraft world as a little boy and living his whole life there. Again, like Jumanji. But this all is just my guess, I could be wrong. Anyway, Anyway, we will see when they release the next trailer what's in it. I'm looking forward to the movie anyway. I mean it's a movie about my favorite game. So hopefully it will turn out well in the end. And I would like to say that no, I'm not a movie channel. I'm just a Minecraft channel and I wanted to comment on this. So don't worry, new Minecraft video will be out soon. I'm still working on it. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe and you can comment what you think about it. I really appreciate every support.